What's going on, folks? Texas Red Leg here. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I uh, wanted to put out a video today, sort of piggybacking on what I said yesterday about <clears throat> the ongoing, uh, seems like, a fervor to continue to divide America among races and, you know, employment status and gender and everything else, it seems like, unfortunately. But today I wanted to talk about different threats, likely threats uh, to the United States. And how the importance of risk assessment and risk management come into play when you run through these threats that exist some more likely than others, but I break them down into two threats. And of course, you know, we have everyday threats from robberies to home invasions to the pandemic to getting hit by a car or whatever the case may be. There's there's ongoing constant daily threats that that we always will en endure. Um, however, what I like to do is, is sort of every once in a while regroup, take a, you know, check the wind, so to speak, and uh, look at the different threats and where they come from. So the way I look at it is I look at internal threats first, i.e. the U.S. government, the different agencies within the U.S. government that have the ability to become a threat or that maybe already are a threat. <clears throat> and um, those, again, agencies and personnel within those agencies some of them three-letter agencies, some of them not, and how they are uh, complicit in violating laws and uh, citizens' rights, you know, with a lot of different things, including, you know, likely the upcoming issue of freedom of movement, i.e. The, the vax or not getting the vax. So internal threats, you know, I believe it was Thomas Jefferson that said, you know, America will be brought down from within if she is to be brought down. And uh, I think we're seeing some positioning, uh, which most of you already know and, and see a lot more than me. Uh, a lot of people have talked about it for a long time, in fact. And I've always believed it. Um, but now we're starting to see the fruits of that, of that, uh, you know, those developments. So internal threats and external threats. External threats. Obviously, foreign enemies, organizations, cartels, etc. You know, um, external threats just mean, you know, outside the borders of the United States. And so, we've got a lot of them. You know, we've had a lot of them for since the beginning of time. Uh, at least since we were founded. And, um, you know, Russia and China, this thing is, is getting pretty pretty hot um, in certain areas of the world, of course. The Ukraine issue, um, you know, Putin may have withdrawn personnel, but uh, that equipment's not far away. And uh, that weaponry is, is uh, not far and certainly uh, able to be reconstituted if necessary quickly. And I'm sure it already is. Uh, you know, Diesel costs money, and when you move tanks and other military equipment, it costs a lot of money to do so. So uh, keep that in mind. You know, Putin's a pretty savvy dude, and based on what I know of him, and you know he doesn't make moves without reason to make moves. Uh, this air interception thing that's going on between us uh, almost daily now is you know penetration testing this and that all kinds of things that's going on to uh, let each other know that we're here you know and i hope that uh, that we're up to the task of of up to the task militarily you know from a technology point of view and also as a people you know there's a very good chance that we're gonna see another war here and it's probably going to be ugly you know, with China knocking on Taiwan's door, um, you know, they're not playing around. They've uh, 
said so much um, that that we need to say out of their affairs and stop meddling. Old Joe talks tough, but I don't know that he's going to have the wherewithal to do anything if they make a move. And that'll embolden the enemy even further. But, um, you know, reassess the threats. You know, every month or so, at, at least, you know, re-engage your brain and look at the threat levels, look at the threats that exist, look at the internal threats that exist here in America, and there's a lot of them. And it's not just physical threats, it's threats to, uh, you know, the political system, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, health care, you know, the vax, everything that, that uh, everything that can be used to control people, you know, can be considered a weapon to some people. And I don't have any doubt at all that they'll try to use it. I think that there are uh, people within the government that obviously do want this to become a socialist nation with very few freedoms except for those at the top the politburo you know they always have uh you know good things to eat good places to live and access to all the good stuff you know it's the uh you know serfs that have to endure the hardships and uh you know dig through the trash cans for something to eat and, and uh play ball in order to survive so i hope everybody's paying attention to this um Use your risk assessment, you know, uh, ideas and, and processes. Manage those risks. Know where you're going. Have a plan. Keep prepping, obviously. Fill those holes. You know, don't be caught out without your, your items. You know, you don't, we don't get to control when something happens to us. Usually it just happens and we end up in it. So, um, I would definitely consider, um, we've talked about it before, um, obviously consider um, the Pew Pew items, the 2A items that matter. Um, and I would also consider uh, with the state of the world right now, uh, if you're traveling in a vehicle that you own, uh, you know, or at least that you have in your possession, I would uh, certainly consider carrying a long gun if you do not already. Um, the chances of you getting caught out are, uh, I think, exceedingly uh, good now, unfortunately. I think that um, with all of the, you know, again, a lot of the, the political and race hustling that's going on, trying to pit one against the other, I think there's a good chance you could be caught out in something of a riot or violence of some sort. And I think you're always better off to uh, have the availability of certain things to protect yourself. And when I say carry a long gun, you use your use your uh, you know imagination there. Obviously, I think you should use it for uh, you know you should be able to conceal it properly, uh, hidden out of plain view, and obviously be able to um, you know have enough uh, freedom seeds to uh, make that a functional item for you. In a defensive posture. So anyway, internal, external threats. Reevaluate them, know them, uh, study them, and use your risk assessment and management models to defend against them. So anyway, I uh, hope everybody having a good weekend. I'll talk to you later. Keep prepping. Stack it deep along with the Republic.